Now getting a move on, ladies and gentlemen, a crackdown on terror module continues in India. The Maharashtra ATS has arrested two terror suspects from Pune who are part of the Al-Sufa terror module. Intel sources revealing to CNN News 18 that the accused were planning to carry out much bigger attack than 2611 and, and also in multiple locations that were on their target. Sources are revealing that two arrest accused were trying to master guerrilla warfare. Further investigation revealed that both were on the wanted list of the NIA. Another accused in the case, Shanavaz, is currently absconding. Let's tell you a little more about this plot. The first revelation that comes out is that they wanted to carry out a bigger attack than 2611 Mumbai. They, use, they wanted to use latest tech to carry out attack at multiple locations. The third revelation is that the attacks were planned at several locations, or including the Shabad House and also the naval helipad, which were recce. That's the fourth revelation. The fifth revelation, temples with high footfall were also on their radar. The sixth revelation, hydraulic projects were also on target. The seventh revelation is that the accused tracked VIP movements. They trained people on how to make IEDs. This is yet another revelation. Our group editor, security, Manoj Gupta, getting us these details. Now, during the raids, the Pune ATS has recovered 500 GB of data from the laptop of the arrested accused. And here's what they found that exposes this entire plot of the ISIS. Literature about how to make a bomb, literature for causing disharmony, YouTube links on brainwashing people, various Google map images that were found, drone images and links of locations were found. Bomb circuit device was discovered. This is far more sinister, ladies and gentlemen, because there is a proper training module that's seen and it is possible that these people have already radicalized, trained so many other individuals on Indian soil. Sushant Sareen, Senior Fellow, ORF with us, and SP Vaid, former DGP Jammu and Kashmir with us. Namaste and Jai Hind, gentlemen. Vaid sahab, this is radical ideology embedding itself because this detail comes on a day when another Al-Qaeda module has been busted by the Gujarat ATS. Yes, uh, Anand, uh, I, I've been saying even in my previous interviews, India faces a huge, huge threat from uh, the uh, uh, international organizations like ISIS and uh, also sponsored by the I, ISI of Pakistan uh, and uh, all this through the internet. Uh, you, May have noted these people have not gone across and not taken training. All has been done on the on the uh, net, hmm. and uh, that is why the need in India of monitoring all these sites which are actually training our uh, radicalizing our people. Hmm. And I think uh, we need to have a very specialized agency to keep a total close watch on this. Though I know. Uh, our intelligence agencies are keeping a tab on all this, but then there is a limit. You have the amount of uh, surfing has to be done, the amount of uh, hmm. uh, uh, the eyes have to because it's a huge, huge country. Who right. is seeing what? Who is seeing what? Hmm. All that needs to be uh, kept eye on, and I think particularly the vulnerable groups. And uh, I don't think all the state police forces are that very well equipped though everyone is trying its bit but i think right. uh, uh, in today's time we need an agency specialized agency to keep tab on all these people mm. otherwise you are in for you you're seeing what is happening in kerala you're seeing what's happening in uh, bengal jnk and punjab you already know uh, so uh, uh, be rest mm. the rest of your country is also under surveillance and under threat and these are uh, doing their best to uh, plan attacks. Look, look at their planning. Hmm. Bigger Mumbai. Imagine. The, uh, look at the, uh, the right. revelation you were mentioning. Seven okay. are of them. It's very, very serious threat, and it should be taken very serious. And they're planning to use technology. They're looking at guerrilla warfare. But more importantly, Sushant Sari, they are very young. The three arrested are between 21 to 25. A lot of the incidents and the witnesses, what they are saying for a lot of incidents that are happening or cropping up, they are all less than 30 years old. This is a serious issue. Anand, I'm afraid uh, your, your voice is not uh, very clear. Uh, 
so i i i don't know exactly what your question is uh but let me just say one thing you know for me i i i'll go along with everything mr ved said but for me the really serious uh issue is mm. the profiles of these guys it yeah. is the profile of the main fellow you know somebody who is such a highly educated such a highly regarded doctor uh, uh in, in some ways a pillar of the society and then uh, you know uh, behind the scenes he is found involved in uh, this kind of a terror module uh, that's really the scary part and the most worrisome part Uh, when people who have got the best that this country has had to offer people who have risen uh, you know uh, to to the top of their professions uh, along with their peers from other communities and yet have this level of disaffection then i think uh, that is a very very serious matter mm. uh, and it's not just about what is happening you know social tensions have always been part of indian society yeah Uh, political tensions also hmm. but this is something much worse this is something far more primordial if i might use that word uh, to what is happening and i think there is a lot of need apart from all the other you know law and order machinery that you put in place you put in place all the intelligence networks you can do all of that right but i think you really need the government really needs to spend a lot of time Uh, and i don't think the government can really do it because the government is incapable of doing it uh, partly for reasons uh, you know that that they're just not they're just not tuned that way hmm. but i think they really need to commission some very serious studies as to what is you know setting off this time bomb in the heads of people uh, and until and unless you do that hmm. you will really not be able to uh, you know get ahead of the curve and i say this also because you know we've been hearing about uh, change the narrative you have to build the right narrative we've been right. talking about all of that right. and we've been talking about it for decades now correct and yet when it comes down to it when you look at the kind of deradicalization measures we are taking the kind of steps we have put in place hmm. uh, they leave a lot to be desired they, you know they are at they are at a very very perfunctory level they are they're very rudimentary you know mm. we really haven't a uh, thought of how to build an ecosystem in which we can not only track these guys but we can right. also prevent people from getting into this kind of stuff and we can also pull out people who might have fallen in their trap right i don't think uh, until and unless we equip ourselves with that uh, i don't think uh, you know we will see the end of uh, what we are you know this this latest incident and for me that was the most shocking part hmm. uh, that how somebody who is you know you would give a right arm and a right leg to reach his position correct uh, does this kind of a thing that's that's no, quite but this is not something which is unique to what we've seen in maharashtra uh, sp vajji that's that's, that, that's the point the, the fact is that there are increasingly youngsters look, look at uh, what is happening across the board you name the states let's add a few more and also lame the modules and you would see that the average age of the people who are being arrested or the people who are being caught or the people who are involved is uh, within 30 years of age yes anand ji uh, absolutely the very very young impressionable minds and i completely agree with the, in fact my worry was also uh this uh, that mm-hmm. how come such a highly qualified doctor post graduate Uh, uh, in uh, anesthesiology imagine uh, such a person who who is one of the best place in the country getting radicalized i think there is a need in this society to study wow, what is this which is motivating him to do such an act hmm. when he has best of life in this country there are millions and millions of uh, young boys and girls who, who don't have even this uh, luxury Mm. and look in spite of that this post graduate doctor cutting in fact uh, uh, when when we had phd scholar of kupwada getting radicalized uh, in kashmir if you recall and yes. here and when burhan wani uh, got radicalized it was it was a big news that look I, uh, mm. how these qualified people 
have got radicalized and look at the pattern yeah uh, it, uh, we need to uh, definitely go into reasons what is what is that which is motivating a person who is so highly uh, placed in this society hmm. uh, so young i completely agree with you all are young before below 30 and uh, i think uh, we we need to uh, definitely keep a very very extensive surveillance system the cyberspace needs to be monitored continuous mm. but this cyberspace itself is so vast how do you monitor it and we are we are uh, 1.4 140 crore people with 250 crore uh, handsets It you is know a- and and platforms which are available we have made data so cheap and so accessible because you want to do good for society but you know yin and the yang good and the bad they all come together Prashant Sareen so how is it possible how do you surveil these people without invading into their privacy that's one question secondly i can surveil into you i can see what kind of literature you read but how do i prove that you are doing something which is uh, going to harm society till you do something no so look uh, uh, anand there are technical means of getting to the bottom of this uh, so i think the technology part uh, is not as difficult it might be a big task but it's probably not as difficult as getting to know what i call what are the conversations for example let us take a university which is full of young muslim students mm. right what are the conversations which take place after dinner between these guys what are they talking about what is what is ticking with them what is clicking with them you know mm. uh, what is bothering them do we have that information i can i can find out anand what you mr vaid what somebody else is doing on online that's mm. the easy part what i can't find out is what all those kids who are studying together living in a particular environment what are the conversations they are having mm. and that is what i really need to know so that i can get to the bottom of this but also remember Uh, anand uh, again this is i'm not revealing anything new ji whether it was 911 the guys who were involved in 911 some of them were engineers graduates from western universities and what have you osama bin laden himself hmm. uh, i can give you <coughs> name after name after name of people who were from very wealthy backgrounds hmm. people who were highly qualified highly educated studied in the best universities taking to this kind of stuff uh, and i will show you many others right. uh, including very m- many uh, religious scholars uh, religious leaders uh, you know who who might look very quote unquote talibanish hmm. but who are actually very liberal very progressive in their outlook yes so we have these certain stereotypes which we need to need to get over, get over it. <coughs> and then that is you know but that requires sensitivity and that requires a lot of research which unfortunately nobody is ready to do in this country no but that is something which is the need of the hour if we need to get on top of this situation and if we need to ensure that it's been that, the need for yeah. the last two decades anand yeah i agree sir but there are durust hai better late than never at least let's start doing something about it gentlemen always a pleasure speaking with you i've run out of time on my show thank you very much thank you very much for joining me this evening thank you sir Good.